Chris Phil, we've had the promise of a green paper on social care. Don't hold your breath, let's be honest. Um, why has this been allowed to drag on, given we've had endless commissions, endless reviews? We know it's happening. Why has the government not actually done anything beyond mm. the odd, odd injection of extra cash? Well, it is a very difficult issue. Of course, we've got a population that is ageing, that's living much longer, living with chronic conditions. Um, you're right to say there have been some recent injections of money. There was about £2 billion across the UK in the, I think it was the 2016 budget. Mm -hmm. There was a further £166 million in February, and actually just a few couple of I weeks know, ago, we need there was another much more £240 million, of which Croydon, my borough, got £1.4 million. So, so, so short-term money has been put in, and as a consequence, delayed transfers from hospital are down by 39%. But you're right, there is a much more structural issue to think about as our population ages. The Green Paper, I hope, will be coming out in the relatively near future. Do you think it we will? Need to, Do you think it will? Yeah, no, it definitely really? will. I mean, it's actually, yeah, of course it will, because it's such an important issue. And we need to look at how we fund social care. There's a number of different models, how much contributions people might make themselves, whether that's at the end of life or whether that's during their life. Those are the kind of issues we need to tackle, I think, on a cross-party basis, because mm. these issues are intergenerational and are with us yeah, for decades. That is probably one of the problems, actually, trying to get a cross-party mm. framework.